Hi guys, it's Melissa from Silhouette School. Hope you all are having a great Monday morning. Uh, we are going to talk about three defaults in Silhouette Studio that I think are worthy of changing ASAP. So, if you click on this gear up here, which for me is in the top right corner because I have Business Edition. If you have Designer Edition or the standard Silhouette Studio, the free edition that comes with Studio, it will be in the bottom right corner. But regardless, you're looking for this gear. That opens the Preferences window, which I have open already. Okay, so the first one that we're going to talk about is choosing... Um, is what happens when you're using the drawing tools. That's the drawing a square, drawing a circle, um, the, the line. You know how sometimes when you draw them, it continues to draw them after you've um, drawn your square. You're like getting squares everywhere. Okay, well you can actually change that. So what you want to do for that is click on selection. Okay, and then instead of having, the default is continue drawing shapes this down here. So you want to have it set, you want after creating a shape set to choose select. So that way when you draw a square you are no longer drawing squares everywhere. If you have, it goes back to your regular mouse which is the select. That's, that's why you're getting your mouse. If you have it on continue drawing shapes Let's see if this works, if I hit apply. Sometimes you have to restart your software to get it. You can see that it's drawing shapes everywhere, and that can be extremely frustrating. Now, there is an easy way to get out of it, and it's just to go back up to the top corner and click the selection tool. But in my opinion, the easiest way to stop that is to literally just change the default under selection to choose select and click apply. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is the center rotation which I have off because I don't like having the center rotation. So usually, again, you're going to go up to preferences and you're going to click on defaults, okay? And center of rotation. Now you can see I already have mine changed to don't show center rotation. If you have show center rotation selected, that is the default. This is what's going to happen. You're going to get this bullseye looking thing in the middle of your every design. And sometimes when you go to move your design, you end up dragging this thing and then it's just like really annoying. Again, see that? So you're like dragging this. I don't like that and so that's one of the defaults that I say turn off. Again, that one's under selection. Uh, no, that one is under defaults, excuse me. And don't show center of rotation. Again, click apply and then you won't have it there, um, you won't have it there. Okay, and the last one is also under the little gear preferences window, and you're going to click display, okay? And this is um, going to change the size of your icons, okay? So if I move it up to large, you will see that my icons along the top and bottom and side gets smaller, okay? If you have them too large, which I think the defaults are a little bit too big because you end up getting this little arrow at the top, which so some of your, def some of your tools are actually hidden. They're there, they're just hidden. You have to click this arrow so that you can see them. I don't like that. I like to be able to see all of them. Again, these are all preferences, but I think they're defaults that you should um, think about changing. If you make them smaller than the actual default size, so uh, either to the smallest or the second smallest and click apply, then you won't have that little drop down arrow anymore and you'll be able to see all of your icons. Now again, I do not have a bottom toolbar because with Business Edition everything moves up to the top, so that's why mine looks slightly different, but it's the same they're all the same buttons. I have a couple extra because I have a Curio as well. So if you don't have a Curio, um, you will probably still have the emboss and the stippling tool. They'll just be grayed out. So there you go. Again, your all those three that I talked about today are going to be in the preferences window, which is accessible through the little gear in either the top right or the bottom right corner.